Hi, welcome back to the channel. This week will most likely be just a very quick one. I need to make a bell sound for this track and I thought I'd take you guys along for the ride. So this is where we are with the current track. I'm going to mute the serum here. So in this section here, I'm going to put a bell. You'll hear it just where this saw lands. Just in that bit there. You can see I've just put a bit of EQ on that. It's only temporary. Let's leave it there for now. All right, so the first thing, obviously we need a oscillator. Let's go basic shapes. We don't need anything too fancy for this. In fact, it's probably one of the most simplest sounds you'll ever make. Let's put this to a square, like so. And then we'll solo just this. In addition to being easy, incredibly annoying. Let's turn the filter on, that will help it. And then we'll assign that to envelope two, like so. Then put the sustain all the way down, and then turn the decay down very small as well. It's starting to resemble what I'm after. Let's turn the resonance up a bit. Then on the amplitude envelope, let's extend the release of that. Let's add a touch of, I say a touch of, a lot of reverb. Let's see what changing the waveform to, let's say, pulse width. I still like the square. And now we're going to play with the unison, which will make a massive difference. So let's go seven as a start. Personally, I like to use odd numbers. Then that way, if you look at the yellow in the middle, I can't move my cursor because it will go off. But if you look at the yellow in the middle of the display, then you get one voice in the center. Whereas if you do even, then you get two voices to either side. So I like to have one in the center, like so. That's the sound I'm going for, just this little ping in the background. Let's, instead of using the Serum reverb, even though it sounds good, let's see if we can use the one from the track. We currently have I have a black hole on ascend. Let's see what that one sounds like.
Actually, I think I like the serum one more. Okay, so that's sounding good. Let's see if we can spice it up a little bit more with some effects. So let's go to the effects section, solo the bell, and let's add a filter. And we'll see what the comb does to it. Maybe after the reverb? Yeah, I think that will do it. I just wanted that plucky little bell kind of sonar ping sound just to break up that section. And I think that's working quite well now. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.